And God can take a person who's broken, who's lost, who, 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 the, who the world has bruised and hurt and, and, and found themselves in a hole or whatever they don't think they can ever get out of. And he can wash them in the blood of Christ. He can place his spirit in them and create a brand new person. And we call that grace. If any man be in Christ, he is a new creature or a new creation. Old things are passed away. Behold, all things are become new. Ezekiel says, a new heart also will I give you and a new spirit will I put within you. The Apostle Paul speaks of being alive from the dead. John calls it passing from death unto life. The new birth brings about a change of heart, a change of spirit that influences our way of thinking, our way of living, our attitudes, as well as our actions. It determines our destiny. That he might then begin to pour upon you and lavish upon you blessings like you can't believe. For sort of the bottom line is that God wants you to praise him. And the truest praise is that which rises spontaneously from my heart when I recognize the grace of God.